Vatican Observatory announces the discovery of a trans-Neptunian object. And this was just a few months ago. From uh, Jonathan McNeon, the Catholic News Agency, the object which was first detected in early December last year and announced recently is classified as a trans-Neptunian object because it orbits the Sun at a distance greater than that of Neptune, the furthest planet from, from the Sun. So, this is something of a new discovery. The Vatican Observatory recently announced the discovery of an object orbiting the Sun at a distance of between 3.3 and 4.8 billion miles, which could help to aid scientists in understanding more about the origins of the solar system. The object, which was first detected in early December last year and announced recently, is classified as trans neptunian because it orbits the Sun at a distance greater than that of Neptune, the furthest planet from our Sun. Chris Graney, an adjunct scholar at the Vatican Observatory, told CNA in an email that TNOs, trans-Neptunian objects, are thought to include remnants of the original material from which the planets of the solar system formed, and therefore TNOs hold clues for scientists about the early solar system and its formation. So if you can, please watch the video just before this one having to do with the recent model of the astronomers concerning the Nice model, Nice, the town in France, uh, that uh, concerning a fifth giant planet that flung out uh, perhaps planet X in Nibiru and messed up the orbits of the giants uh, Jupiter, Neptune, uh, um, Uranus. So uh, that was the early uh, solar system with a gas cloud that expelled from the uh, center of our solar system, forcing the ga gas giants in their orbits that they have today because they were supposedly originally closer to the sun. So, um, from what they say here, this one TNO is just a piece of the puzzle. He said, but we at the Vatican Observatory are happy to add this piece, Grady said. The Vatican Observatory operates the Vatican Advanced Technology Telescope. It's located in rural Arizona, about 200 miles southeast of Phoenix. It was this telescope that made the discovery of the TNO, which has been dubbed 2021XD7. According to the Vatican Observatory, Father Richard Boyle, S.J., made the first observations and an anal uh, analysis was done by the Lithuanian astronomer and astrophysicist Kazimier Asernis. The um, object they found takes 287 Earth years to complete one orbit of our Sun. Pluto, formerly classified as a planet, is the largest and most famous of the 70,000 known TNOs, and was first discovered in 1930. So Pluto is now considered a trans neptunian object. The exact size and makeup of the object discovered by the Vatican Observatory is not yet known, and it will be the subject for further investigation. Granley told CNA that one reason to study TNOs is to look for patterns in their movements, which could help scientists uncover evidence for a theorized ninth larger planet near our, in the outer solar system, that is, Planet X Nibiru, what we call. He said the big part of the usefulness of TNOs comes from looking at bunches of them to see what they're doing, like watching the movements of small fish near the surface of a pond that tell you that there is a big fish on the prowl down there that you do not see. With roots dating to 1582, the Vatican Observatory is one of the oldest active astronomical observations in the world. Its headquarters are in Castel Gandolfo. Dandol, da, da, sorry, I'll get it out. Castel Gandolfo, a town just outside Rome, and the location of the summer residence of the popes. This is by John, Jonah McKeon, Catholic News Agency on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.